20 past seven now and uh, nominations in the race to succeed Nigel Farage as the leader of UKIP have closed. But there's some controversy. The controversy is that one of the favourites might have missed the deadline. MEP Stephen Wolfe, seen as a frontrunner to succeed Mr Farage, missed the deadline for submitting his nomination, blaming a technical issue. All party members will find out if Mr Wolfe's amongst those set to fight the contest tomorrow. But what does it all mean for the party here in Wales and which candidate will be best to help UKIP build on its breakthrough success at May's Assembly election? Well, Joe Smith is chairman of UKIP's Isloin branch. He's supporting Jonathan Arnott and Lear Powell is UKIP party member from Neath and He's a former advisor to the party's leader in Wales, Nathan Gill, and he's supporting Stephen Wolfe. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. We start with you then, Joe. Why are you supporting Jonathan Arnott? Well, the political landscape has changed now. UKIP has got the independence from Europe. So instead of dealing just purely on a European basis, it's going to be more of a domestic and international landscape that we're going to deal with. And Jonathan has all the qualities that will take the party forward and deal with these issues. I don't think we need a Nigel Farage Mark II. And what about you, Claire? Uh, Claire Powell, why are you supporting Stephen Wolfe? Um, I attended a Hustings on the weekend in Manchester where all the leadership contenders spoke and I was looking for some certain clearance on how the party could be funded in the future, how it can be restructured and made sure that we're a professional force now that's needed and how we can support grassroots branches and members. I also heard different conversations about policy going forward and I feel that Stephen ticked all the right boxes in order to take the party forward. Now, uh, Joe, now that the UKIP's got what you kind of set out to do in terms of the referendum and and, and the result, what is it, what now for UKIP? What's the point of the party? Because you've achieved what you set out to achieve initially. Yeah, as I said, um, We were a party that was involved in trying to get independence for the UK, but now we are evolving. So as as I said before, we're coming away from the European issue and now we're going to go on to domestic and international because I feel that there is definitely a place for UKIP politicians here in the UK. I mean, only last week there was a report by the BBC uh, highlighting the UKIP AMs in the Assembly and it was pointed out that they were a very cohesive unit and very, very constructive. And what about your candidate, Clear uh, Stephen Wolfe? He, he might not even make it onto the, onto the papers in the end. Well, that's a different matter. Uh, I'm confident Stephen will be on the ballot. He sent his application form in time. The party took his finances, which is required to stand for leadership. So all the process was done on time, I feel. But I would say that, you know, you're saying that the European issue is done yet. Article 50 hasn't been triggered. Somebody has to hold their feet to the fire. The Conservatives aren't doing that at the moment. They're trying to give their new Prime Minister a chance. Labour isn't doing it. And the Lib Dems are still trying to fight a referendum that finished on the 23rd of June. It's only UKIP who will ensure Article 50 is triggered. That is when Brexit is official. And that's why we need somebody like Stephen Wolfe, who is able to keep a close eye on that. Whichever candidate you're backing, Nigel Farage is a force of nature. He's the big shoes to fill, aren't they? Yes, obviously there's. Um, as I said, we need a, a different person, a, dis- a different character. As I said, it's a different political landscape that we're entering now. Uh, Nigel's done his job and he's done a fantastic job. He set out what he wanted to achieve and he said, right, he wants his life back. So when we talk about Jonathan Arnott, when we, when we talk about grassroots, I mean, he's a school teacher. He's not a barrister or a lawyer. So he does fit in with that grassroots connection. What about you, Clear? A lot of in, infighting that takes a lot of the headlines from uh, whatever you keeps up to. Uh, do you think that your, your favourite, Stephen Wolfe, is, is the right person to, to take over and fill those shoes? Absolutely. Stephen's plan to reform UKIP's national executive to turn us into a professional party now. In can order he? To can he do that? Do you think he assembly? can do that? Sorry? Do you think he's able to do that? Yes, he is able to do that. He's provided the plan. He's inspired the membership, which is something I think the next leader should be able to do. He's inspired the membership. And to reforming the NEC now, we've seen this information this so-called information that Stephen can't stand, leaked out to the press by a set panel of NEC members. That just goes to show this panel are totally incompetent. That doesn't seem to suggest there's much unity, though, does it? The infighting continues. 
Well, no, that, that's why we need a restructure and more transparency for membership at grassroots level to have more involvement and a professional structure behind the scenes. It's all the UKIP has been grown so quickly in a short period of time. People have been doing voluntary work. Like I know Joe does a lot behind the scenes for his branch. And now what we need to put in place, we are the third largest party in the UK now. It's time we have a bit more of a structure behind the scenes. All right, thank you both. That's Joe Smith, who's chairman of UKIP's Islin branch, and Lear Powell, who's a UKIP party member from Neath, and a former advisor to the party's leader in Wales, Nathan Gill. It's 25 past seven, and the Olympics is only a matter of days away. The re-